shout and touch the Lord as He passes His life. You will find it not to be easy to air your heart's right. He's passing by the storm and your Almighty God, for another time, Almighty God, 
Oh God Almighty, God, that we can stand in your presence, Almighty God. We want to thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning, Almighty God, and clothe us, Almighty God, in our right mind. Lord God, we want to thank you this morning, Almighty God, that we are walking on top of our grave this morning. We want to thank you, God, that we are not in the grave, Almighty God. We want to thank you, God. That we are not in the bed of affliction, Almighty God. We are not in the bed of infirmity this morning. Lord God Almighty God, we give you praise, God, for everything that you have been doing and what you are about to do in our lives, Almighty God. And as we come this morning, Almighty God, oh God Almighty God, at this Bible school, Almighty God, to know more about your Lord Jesus. We pray, God Almighty God, that you will equip us this morning, Almighty God. I pray, God Almighty God, that we will not be here us alone, Almighty God of your word, but be to us to them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This morning, Almighty God, I want to, oh God, I ask you this morning that you would bless the teachers, Almighty God. I pray, God, that you would bless, Almighty God, Bishop and Warren, Almighty God, who come up with this task in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray, God, that you would bless Minister Brian also, Almighty God. Bless the teachers, Almighty God. Bless the students, Almighty God. I pray, God, that you would cover us, Almighty God, under your blood. I pray, Almighty God, that any spirit, Almighty God, that would want to linger, Almighty God, to cause disruption, I pray, God, that you would move it, Almighty God. I bind, I rebuke, and I discharge in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, I pray, Almighty God, that you would do what you are poor can do in our lives. Almighty God, as we learn more of you, Almighty God, I pray, Almighty God, that you would hide us under your wings. Almighty God, the psalmist declare that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I pray, God, Almighty God, that you would hide us this morning, Almighty God, as we come, oh God, Almighty God, to see your face, oh God, Almighty God, to hear your words, Almighty God. I pray, Almighty God, that you would be among us, Almighty God. I pray, God, that you would, oh God, Almighty God, slay and slay this morning, Almighty God, and let your spirit rise, Almighty God, among us. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, I turn over to Bishop. Amen. Thank you. Powerful prayer, powerful devotion to our God. Be all the glory. Great things He's doing. Great things he will be doing and we glorify the Lord. I want to welcome the student at Amen Divine Word Bible Institute, Bible Institution. Amen. Yes. So I want to welcome you at Divine Word Bible Institute. Amen. As we give God thanks for what the Lord is about to do. So I just want to brief you of this Bible school, you know, as Paul tell Timothy to study to show thyself approved. A workman need not to be afraid, but rightly divide the word of truth. So we are here to divide the word of truth and to give God the glory and the honor. Now, when I found out, amen, uh, with our last students that we have, amen, we have about, amen, the last student, we have about 20, 20 students for last year, 2021. 20, 20, about 20 students, amen, online students, and there were about, amen, about 14 persons that were present in class. And what we learned about the students is that Sister Harris, uh, when they came, they were shy, very, very shy. Some persons were uncertain. You know, some persons were wondering if they are the right place. Some persons even started to make the declaration that they can't read. Some started to say they can write as fast as possible. 
some started to say amen that they don't know if they will be able to continue hallelujah and we start off February and we start off with 20 persons and when it was time for graduation we only have a person graduate of the 20 you may ask why having 20 student and only a graduate many start out well you know as the bible also let us know that the race is not for the sweet but the race is for those who will endure to the end because many persons can be good starters but not good finishers so you know once you decided that you want to do this course and you want to get deeper in the Lord you want the Lord amen to use you in a particular field maybe in the, the church in the open community and you want to amen have your spiritual ambition uplift you want to do just more than what you are doing even now so we have eight persons granted out of 20 persons. Some drop out because of job related. Some drop out because of financial crisis, they say. Some drop out because of amen. Weren't able to do the schoolwork. And what is this about? And some drop out because of the while the desire and the seal just weren't here anymore. And we have to go back to the job board and the Christian us. It's the situation where the teacher and the student are engaging as well or they're supposed to engage. Or is it a situation whereby the seal just not there? And I can tell you, the eight persons that graduated were the eight consistent persons that were consist. They might have jump up one, one and two times, they come to class one and two or three times, but they were consist. Even though they never come to class, they tried to get the schoolwork, they called Mr. Prime, or they tried to find the next student, what was the class like, and they were up and running. Now, the nature of the situation is that uh, Jesus speaks the parable of some that fall on the wayside, some seed that fall on the wayside, some that fall on stony ground, some that fall on good side. You know, as you come to study the word of the Lord, you're going to find out, you're going to find out that, amen, your spirit man is going to grow. You're going to, amen, know things that you'll never have the knowledge of. And feel free to ask Christian. Don't let the teachers that teach, teach, teach. Feel free. We have a student in our previous class, Tafari. Tafari interrupt every second. But I tell the teacher, leave her. She just want to learn. I tell the teacher, pause, answer. Because Tafari wants to know everything. That I want to know why this happened in the Bible, why this never happened, and what is the reason of this. So I said, you know, this is a place I want to know. Because sometimes you get answer from people, and sometimes people pass that information to you that is not right. And sometimes people load your head with information. And I believe that this place is the right place to get the right answer. Like for instance, uh, our previous class, uh, most of who we have on board for the previous class were Pentecostal. They were Pentecostal. So the Christian arrived, uh, the Christian was asked about the Trinitarian doctrine and the oneness doctrine 
And you know, the, the oneness doctrine is the doctrine of Jesus only. You must baptize in Jesus' name and in Jesus' name only. And the debate was on about the Trinitarian doctrine, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So, as we go on, we will look at some of those because some of those as leaders of the church and as prospective ministers, evangelists, we will have to answer to some of those Christians because they are persons that are going to tell us that we baptize the wrong way. Some are going to say we baptize the right way. Amen? So you must have scripture base to tell them why you baptize this way. You must be able to know why Peter rise up in Acts chapter 2. Amen? And Acts and say, baptize in the name of Jesus. And we have to look at St. Matthew 28. Amen. And verse 19 and 20. Why Jesus said, go in your forth and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So, feel free, Sister Aris, feel free, my sister, amen, Shabbat, amen, feel free, and as Christian, it is going to get greater. I tell you, the course is going to go up until September, and the graduation is going to be October. So we want you to feel free. Uh, if the teacher don't get to complete uh, the course at time or at the at set time of September, sometimes you might ask for an extra two weeks and it might carry over into October. But you're not going to regret it. Also, our Facebook, our WhatsApp page, we're going to provide you with. Uh, WhatsApp group and we will send the audio of the class so you can sit back and go back to it, listen back, listen over, even we have the WhatsApp as the audio is recorded. So you will be able and we ask each student once asking a question, use the mic so you can get familiar with the mic because as you know you soon preach and you soon evangelize they will have to use the mic so we ask you to ask your question with the mic so that it can record it can record your, your, your question can record and your answer can record and you will be able to hear back yourself while listening to the audio amen so uh, what else also yes we ask that, amen, you carry a notebook to write and your Bible. Uh, we are going to do uh, one of these week, not now though. You will have to memorize from Genesis to Revelation. You will have to tell us the 66 books of the Bible. As you know, the Bible is divided into two. Two parts. One part named Old Testament and one part named New Testament. The Old Testament is consists of how many books? 39 books. Alright, write down for this. Write down for them. Uh, the Old Testament have 39 books to it. Right? Mark up. Alright, so let's get Mark up. So the Old Testament have 39 books. And you will have to tell us if there is any chance to come up here. Now, not to carry your Bible, but you have to tell us 
from Genesis to Malachi. Amen. You have to tell us from Genesis to Malachi. And you have to tell us from Matthew to Revelation. So the New Testament of 29, 20, 20, sorry, 27, 27 books. And also, in the program, fighting for them, you have to tell me how many epistles Paul write in the New Testament, right? And the word for them shortly. Amen. How many, can you see? All that we are going to study is about the Bible. In a few from now, Minister Brigham got to come and do evangelism for us. She got to present, amen, uh, introduction to evangelism. So the epistle, I mean, the epistle in the New Testament that Paul wrote, amen. So Paul wrote. I mean, the epistles, the Apostle Paul wrote. Amen. So, is, is that the first time I've been in Carol? Yeah. I okay, all right. So, if you've been right, that, as Minister Prime said, she's not telling the answer. So, that would be your homework. Or in the epistle, the Apostle Paul wrote. The next thing that Minister Prime wants to do the board for them is. How many major prophets amen, we have in the Old Testament? How many major prophets we have in the Old Testament? And how many minor prophets we have? Now, the Old Testament it consists of major prophets. Amen. Somebody said, Bishop, is that major prophet as a bigger prophet and the minor prophet as a smaller prophet? All right, so what uh, she is going to put is that we are going to put how many major prophet, right? How many major prophet in the Old Testament and how many minor prophets are in the Old Testament. And also in the Sabbath, that the put and the board, those are going to be your homework you now. Uh, you're going to come back next week and be surprised by the market. Also, you're going to put what is the five first books of the Bible name. The five books of the Bible name. The five books of the Bible are Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Those are the five books of the Bible. So we are going to, you're going to tell us what the five, what is the name of the five books of the Bible, what they call it. What they call the five books of the Bible. So we have Old Testament, 29 books in the Old Testament. 39, sorry. I don't know what happened to my brain. 39 books in the Old Testament. And the New Testament consists of 27 books of the Bible. And how many epistles Paul wrote in the New Testament. And you know, this is going to shock you because 